I just wanna say great work. I hope you're feeling good about all the progress you're making, learning about search engine marketing and display advertising. And if you feel like it's hard, that's okay. Like this is a lot of new information. What we wanna do is just keep up your learning and your understanding will grow. Let's recap the topics we've covered. We introduce you to search engine marketing and why someone would want to advertise their product or service in a search engine. Then we discuss the type of Google ads you may find in the Google search engine, such as text ads, local service ads, and shopping ads. Then we explored Google ads more in depth. We went over topics such as setting a budget, bidding strategies, and keywords. You learn about how Google ranks in the ad auction. We also showed you how to create a Google search ad. Then last, we discussed display advertising. You learned about why a marketer would choose to have a display advertising campaign. You learned the different types of display ads available. And then we went in depth on the responsive display ad form, Google ads, and how to optimize one to meet your goals. As a digital marketer, even if you aren't working directly in search engine marketing or display advertising, it's important to know how each works and its potential cost. For example, you may need to help an organization determine if they should spend their ad budget on SEM, social media ads, or traditional advertising, such as in a magazine. Like, which advertising opportunity is best to help the organization reach their goals? You may be involved in that decision. You've done some excellent work and I hope you're proud of the progress you've made so far. You've demonstrated a real commitment to learning about search engine marketing and display advertising. And you are well on your way to becoming job ready.